What's up, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy, Dream the Dream. We are back for another episode of The Sweaty Rabbit Hole, episode 20 up here right now. Right now, I got my boy over here. But before we get into you know how we usually do it, got to ask a couple of questions. So for my first question, my boy, my first question. Go ahead. All right. Would you rather be somebody who like does marine science or someone who does astrology? That's a hard one because I love space, but I took marine biology in uh, science. So the entire time, it was me and my friend Josh, actually. We okay. were the only two in class that paid attention so much. And when the teacher came up to be upset with us because we were talking and misbehaving in class, our work was already done. There wasn't a single question about the subject she could ask us that we would get wrong. Right. And uh, it's bye, Ms. V, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Josh. Um, but either way, I want to do marine biology, but my fear is as we get lower, things don't look good anymore. <laughs> they, they had to adapt. So there's only a matter of time before we go so deep under that something with eight tentacles, a giant face, and 18,000 razor sharp teeth. It's going to come up. I don't want to see that. No one needs to see that. But that sounds like some Cthulhu shit right there. That's what it sounds like. But hey, man. It, but it's the same page on the other side of space. There's a lot of space. True that. True that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit. But so d- definitely marine that. biology. Okay. All right. For sure. For sure. All right, my next question I was gonna ask you was that this was this was this was gonna be that 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 kind of question. Oh, okay. So, all right, okay, so okay, okay. would you rather be in prison for like three years, or would you rather be in prison for the one year, but you got to be the Booty Warriors roommate? So you're asking me, would I would I rather be in prison for three years, or just have the one, or have one year, but I'm someone's butt pirate? I'll take three years. <laughs> that's My fine. Man. I My can man. have a lot of time to read. I'll come out buff. That's three years of exercising. That's three years of literature. I don't want a year of butt sex. That's cool. Smart. Nothing about Smart that man. sounds great. Smart man. All right. My third question, okay, is that would you rather be in a world? So pick a post a lot post apocalypse situation. Would you rather live in a world where aliens invade us or we're in a zombie apocalypse? Zombie. That one's easy. We've okay. had years, especially our generation, years of prepping and practice. Okay. Okay. Zombieland is an entire guidebook for the newbies. True People man. that started Call of Duty, Kinder Toten Zombies. We've been training since what? We were 12? Pretty much, yeah. Come yeah. On. All right, so next question. Because I, cause I was thinking about how I would, because this is called Sweetie Rabbit. We, we going deep in this motherfucker. All right. All right, so <laughs> now that you want to pick that, so now in the zombie world, would you rather be in... Hmm, I was thinking like James Romero, like Walk of the Dead. Okay. Or Day of the Dead. Or would you rather be like in The Walking Dead? I don't want the Kurt zombies Robin. to run. So number one rule. The zombies run, I'm, that's it. Everyone I love is getting a piece of uh, lead right between the brain and we're just going to go out. Because if they run, there's no hope. I don't want to see them stack or anything like that. That's some World War Z shit. That's bad. I ain't doing that. I, I just hope if that ever happened, I got some kind of illness so they don't fuck with me, bro. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I can hope for. That's it. Because, like, what, bro, how far are you getting? Like, you like, shrug. Like, think about it. You see, like, a hundred zombies, bro. You, they, they ain't tired. And they never get tired. <laughs> yeah. the, the dude that sat on his couch playing Video games for three years finally became Usain Bolt, and nah, <laughs> no, happen, I'm bro. good. He, he, he gonna be just like, yep, just I want regular. <laughs> I, can, I can walkers. picture, it. I can picture it where it's like he's like, for the first 10, 20 seconds, he's like, oh, oh, you ain't tired, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> just looking back, you ain't like, nah, we coming for you. Like, yeah, I'm also terrified if like, say you're a, uh, an amputee of some mm-hmm. sort. Well, now you're a half robot, half human zombie that can run. Oh God. Yeah. Oh God! I didn't even think. Oh God! So like now you're you're, you're trying to shoot for the leg or something to so stop chasing you. <laughs> Those bent back paper clips are coming out, and all I hear is tink 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 tink. tink, tink, tink. <laughs> just just picture well, just, just, just picture Cat Willis behind you. Oh I'm my just, I'm just, <laughs> God! I kind of just got that from the whole tink. Poor little tink tink. Right. So. Hey, but if Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart do a movie about this now, we want rights. This was our idea. Yeah. That, that that we just made a comedy just now. We did. did. We did. We did. We should patent that shit. That's what we Immediately. should Immediately. We should, like, just, just, hey, this Warner Bros. Just hit us up. We got the ideas. Warner Bros. <laughs> we got we to gotta go higher than that. A hey, Lion Gate. Um, let's be honest. The last few movies weren't very good. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
stands oh, for the up man. and up. <laughs> Have you seen the last Lion Gate movie? I don't know what it was, but I didn't hear of it, so obviously it wasn't good. The Lion King? No, the Lion Gate. Lion the, uh, oh, like, what was the last Lion Gate that came out? Yeah, the production uh, company. I can't remember what they made, but it was... N- the last movie I remember from Lion Gate is Sucker Punch. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to say that either. Sucker Punch was a movie. That made the watch. Wasn't Sucker Punch like a, was like, was a, a bunch of women in it? Oh, yeah. Uh, like, Vanessa Hutchins was in that. Yeah, it was like, was like an action kind of flick, though? If you can call it that. <laughs> like what, 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 what would you call it? What would you? It was a. Uh, it was every anime slash video game nerd's fantasy come true. That sucker punch. There Don't was, at me. That's was, real. There was there was uh there was there was there was like. I'm trying to think like because I remember seeing a, a clip on Facebook about mm-hmm. like this one chick was like in this building and she saw these statues and there was she like, had a samurai something. sword yeah, and, and, she was, and a she, gun for some reason. Yeah, yep, just, that's it. I give a fuck, fuck shit up. Yep, just, okay, that was it. Then she they on some Jawu shit. All right, okay, <laughs> I see yeah, him. Yeah, absolutely. I see you over there with that sucker punch over there and shit. All right, so boy, homie, Lino, we're over here. The guy known you for a minute, man. Since like, 2014, man. Yeah. 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 Right, right after graduation, I did one other job before. Then we met Sam's Club. That's crazy. And you man. were just the man in fresh. That's crazy. Freezer. Not freezer. Yeah. I was. I was like Batman and Gotham. That was. That was <laughs> it. It was cold as fuck. I was by myself. Like I had no help, and then nobody wanted to go. The worst place to go it was cold as fuck. Nope. It was terrible, but. I had to deal with some other stuff too in that department. That's what kind of made it crazy for me, but that's why I just called it Gotham and Bad. So You're okay. they, just, they just needed bad guys and just assholes just just to come over to my area and just fuck with me and just give them names. But I didn't give them. I didn't get that far in the game. That makes sense. I I've re- not that's embarrassing on the show or anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit everybody with a story that I remember from the Sam's Club days. Okay. Uh, our friend Trevor, who also worked with us, uh, moved on to better better things, but uh, he watches the show. He supports you because okay. we all. Teammate, for sure. That, appreciate you know? that. Oh, he. What? <laughs> 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 I mean, appreciate that, man. I really, I really That's fucking do, man. Definitely. Like, yeah, like, like, like I've, I've, I've kind of been like, in a way, I've, I've been thinking of like, like besides you, like, you know, I'm really, I know Gabe. He's telling me, telling me he's been watching my shows too. Like, you know, like I have a few people, and I really appreciate you guys. You, like, you got know, a lot of support, man. Smile, all the bro. way, all the way. You're got further me, than the rest of us have. I mean, <laughs> gave, gave me. I don't, I don't feel like it, but one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta think of it this way: How many people say that they're gonna start up a podcast or a YouTube channel? Thousands, millions, even. How many are this far? Yeah, that's true. But I mean, way like, less. I guess it was like years in the making. To be honest, like that was something I've been talking about since 2011, bro. Just I just never had the time, the resources. Mm-hmm. Real talk. When I think about it, I had the time, but I didn't have the resources back then. Mm-hmm. But now, I'm blessed to even have it. So, yeah. I Bless. just had to be be patient and, I, and just keep my head up, you know. Saying had good people like you and shit, you know what I'm saying? You gonna be dabbing all fucking day, <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, man. I, like for real though, but I appreciate that shit though. Oh, all but, the way, man. All but the yeah, way. but don't. But your story though. What what, 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 what what was you about to get into? Okay. I remember so there was a day at Sam's it. Club. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were there late. Wendy had actually asked me and Trevor to stay late to help close. Yeah. He was working carts at the time. You were still in freezer cooler. So like, hey, can you go help Dream stock freezer cooler? Like, Absolutely. That was the first day we caught you in the jacket. That big, puffy, ugly, little hood mittens jacket that you oh, had yeah. to wear oh, yeah. whenever you were going in and out of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang. So imagine <laughs> me, a lot less special hair, and Trevor, who's very tall, and <laughs> turn the corner to this big sh- Hey guys! <laughs> Every movement you heard, like it was. <laughs> so me and Trevor have worked a lot. We don't have to, like, you need a jacket, or you can figure out which is. If you move fast enough, it'll get done fast enough. And at that point, we were hyped up on Monster, and we just wanted to go home. Right. So you have me and Trevor in t-shirts and jeans next to Dream, going. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the most most vividly. I look over at Trevor and he just starts doing this every time he moves. So it's just <laughs> shh, 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 shh. <laughs> it was so hard to focus. That's funny shit. I didn't even know. That's funny. That's funny. I didn't, that's, that's, that's good. good. That's good. That's good. I remember that one. I remember one time where it was me, you, Christina. Oh. And um, no, Trevor wasn't around, but it was when um when I had that big ass thing. Me. Yeah. I'll never forget that shit. I, I, I was, it was crazy. I was like. 
What's going on? And then and you and I gave you that. You were like, oh, you gonna give me that meat? You give me that? Uh, I was like, shut up, you I was like, ah, uh. like, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't mean to say it, but you, you knew what I meant, though. You, you knew what I meant, like. You, but you can't walk up to another man and say, hey, do you want my meat? Like, I, obviously, I, yeah, you, I'm gonna yeah. take that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke, and I'm taking it <laughs> quickly. I was, like, I was like, shit. I was like, I didn't even think. But it's all good, though. It's it all, is but that good. Was a good it was joke. And now we're both out of that place. I um, know, man. I ain't going back. I felt like it was a few times I thought about going back. That I was like, hell no. Nah. Nothing's gonna be worth going back. I, I I thought about. I was like, man, going there is like worse than committing suicide. Like, it's pretty bad. <laughs> like, it's it's pretty bad. Like, I'm I'm confident enough to say that. Like, that's how sick. I I love y'all at Sam's Club. that work up there still. The one of those y'all left, but. I can't do it, like, bro, like, like, true story, He's man, like, working at Sam's Club, like, suicide, like, yo, like, this one, I, I remember we, we, uh, so I've been going to the one on Sahara for years, right? Mm-hmm. Going through whatever, I'd go get my tires, whatever, looked at, whatever, and then get my batteries charged, whatever, it's, cause they, they have the you know auto department store, there, right? Oh, okay. And you know shit's got bad when you know someone from the auto department saying how shit's got bad. That's how you know shit's gonna be bad. That's terrible, bro. Like they, like you, cause like they got the most cushions. They got their own job and their own department. You can't tell a person from the you know auto you know department to go do yeah. something else. You can't tell them they gotta be done with shit at this time when they got clients. But now they're telling them they gotta be done at a certain time when they got clients there. And the the point system is a lot worse. I heard. So I'm like, it's crazy. So it's a lot worse to how we had it. Oh, we were there. Definitely. Just I'm to like, me, I don't know if I would put. Suicide right next to <laughs> right. Sam's Club. Like, that's, 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 that's hard. That, that's it's, a it's, heavy. It's heavy, but heavy. I mean, like, I, 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 anybody who goes, I feel like if you walk out of Sam's Club, man, you, you that's one of the jobs where you can literally do damn near anything. Like, just, just the shit you go through there. Like, you can do a lot of stuff after leaving there. Cause, like, I don't know. Like, I, I, cause, like, for me, going from that job and then jumping into like cannabis, like, like, I that's, honest, it's, it was, it was a huge shift. Jump from retail to like being reef like, tail, to like <laughs> the reef tail and shit, <laughs> and it's fucking yes. just it's it's a whole different experience, a whole different bargain, a whole different experience, and like just being at that place. Even though we do a lot of stuff there, compared to the work I dealt with, and the crap I dealt with at Sam's Club, it's nothing compared to it. Like that's that's how my mindset is at. You know, which is crazy, mm-hmm. cause it's like that's how bad Sam's Club was to me. Like it was like it was. Don't want to completely talk about Sam's Club entirely, which I, I, I kind of am. Oh, uh, we already lost that sponsor. But, no, <laughs> that, that boat is gone. The moment but, you said working at Sam's Club is like suicide, man, Walmart pulled man. everything out. Like, yeah, exactly. like, then we gonna, have no sponsor from Walmart now. To, to suicide, I'm going to just take this real quick now. But, but it was it was really, I, I honestly, I always hope, I, I, I hope that nobody had the experience I had. I, I, I know people had worse than I have, mm-hmm. but like it was some pretty crazy stuff that went on in that building. It's true, and, and it sucked. That like I, I, I like I witnessed a lot of now. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of managers, good managers go, some for dumb reasons. Too. Yeah, and like I've seen good socials leave too because of like just messed up reasons and stuff like that. Remember when someone, a human person, took a dump in the middle of grocery? I heard about that. I was <laughs> at about our that. Sam's Club store. A grown that. man I was like, dropped what? his drugs. <laughs> It, it took, took a dump a, in the middle of like aisle four. Right? Like, was it like was it like a solid or was it like like mud? All I know is they called Trevor and he walked out. Oh, for real? He wasn't oh, doing it. Bro, he, he, did he clean it up? No, no, okay. no, no, of course okay. not. They, they okay. called they called uh, someone okay. else to do the okay. maintenance to do it because <laughs> that, that was way above his pay grade. But can you imagine <laughs> going to having a stocking job and now there's a, just a pile of doo doo in the middle of the aisle? Bro, that true story. So when I worked at Ross at one point. I actually worked there for a year and like three months. I said a year, three months. At Ross? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was uh, that was my second job. The first time I went there, it was uh, summer. It was like there for three months. And the second time I was there for a whole year. I came the following year and actually kept me. But um, somebody actually shit in that building too. But they shit through their diaper, though. I heard it was all runny. I was, I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Yo. I don't think I'm going to Ross about, anymore. I, I heard somebody literally took a, took a shit and they wiggled their foot. <laughs> And this shit just came out. I was like, that's all bad, bro. All bad. So, yeah. We just lost the Ross sponsorship. Hey, man, just, I don't think a lot of, if anything, just people just stop being nasty Ross, my boy. Just, <laughs> it ain't worth it. Trust. Just make it easier on us. Cause At least it, he had a toilet. At least he had a diaper. I mean, like, so he he or she knew that they were prone to, to shit knew. themselves. They, they, knew. They, 
They're gonna shit themselves. But that one dude saw he just fully committed to that. <laughs> yeah, the, the, no, there, there was a pile. Like <laughs> there was no resistance between <laughs> that man's hole on the floor. Oh man, it was perfectly oh, stacked. Oh bad, oh bad. All right, so Lino, tell yeah. us who you are, man. Oh, okay. What, what, sure. you, what you been up to lately? Um, What's been going on, Lino? The boss with the <laughs> sauce. Just kidding. Uh, she moved back from Arizona. Went to Lake Havasu for a while. Lived there from February to October. Okay. Um, had a great time. Met some amazing people. Uh, figure out who I was because I lived a very long time in my life being not right. I was with a girl that like, handed me everything. I never had to worry about anything, but with that, I never grew. Everything was just handed to me. I never had to really struggle for much. If I needed something, she was there like that. Okay. And she was an amazing friend, but I'd never treated her like the girlfriend that she was. So we broke up, literally lost my mind, was not mentally okay, got out, got good, now okay. I'm home. That's what's up, man. It's good. It, it's a really self-improvement journey. There we go. And uh, if you have never le- mother, if you never <laughs> moved away from home, I, I do recommend it. It's terrifying for a little bit, but... You really get to learn some new stuff about yourself when you're not around your norm. Like, there's no mom and dad. There is no regular friends that you go to hang out with. You have to, you pretty much get to decide who you want to be around all new people. That is very true. It's pretty pretty cool. I didn't even think about about like that shit. I know, like, when I moved out, I was fucking, like, 18. I think it was, like, a month. Yeah, the month before I turned 19. That's when I moved out, my dad. But it was, it was, it was weird. Like, it, it was a... It was a slow transition, but it, over time it proved. Like, I went from, like, sleeping on the couch and shit to, like, getting my own room. First got a mattress, and, then, like, it slowly just kind of, like, started. Like, I think when, when I when I finally got my, like, my, my Xbox 360, because that's cause when I bought my piece. I got it when I got uh, Mass Effect 3. Shout out to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you found it, it, though. I gotta look and see what's what it said. But, but you know, shout out, to, you know, shout out to EA for that, you know, because that's when they were still 100%, you know, at least decent. Bioware. Then, Bioware, you know. Oh, yeah, EA had, oh, yeah. yeah you right. My my bad, Bioware, but y'all fucking up now, so I don't know. I don't know. I, that's why I kind of got y'all mixed up, because Anthem, I was, I'm hurt. Ooh. I'm in my feelings, fam. I'm hurt. I haven't played that game in a hot minute. I remember Gabe was hitting me. He was like, bro, you, gonna, you still playing the Anthem? You still? And he would just do <laughs> Just like I swear that? to God, you I'm still like, playing Anthem? Yeah, you still? Yeah, I was like, hey, come on, bro, just really? Like, yeah, you still playing Anthem? Oh, you fanboy over here? I'm, <laughs> I was like, come on, man. It was, I, I have faith. I saw it. It looked legit. I wanted to give it a chance. It, 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 to me, it looked like Andromeda had a baby with Mass Effect Three, but it it was like not a good baby. No, I, I told I told everybody it was gonna be the Destiny killer. I I pre ordered like the best version when it yeah. was first available. Yeah. I was I was like Iron Man suits and classes. Yeah, get Anthem is everything I wanted to be more. And then EA got their hands on it. I don't think it was <laughs> EA though. Like for what I what I heard was that it was actually Bioware that they it pushed out too early. They like they they promised a lot of stuff they couldn't like even give at the end of it. Like, I don't want to completely blame Bioware. I don't want to, but I I don't work there. I right, don't even right. know. Like, and, I feel and, like and EA the pushed thing, like, the date to try to get the right. game out because Mass Effect Andromeda did so bad, they thought they could save something with Anthem. They didn't save anything no. besides realizing that Bioware probably really mm-hmm. is done. Yeah. Like, I was hurt when they... And, like, what kind of got me was that... So the graphics are not bad. They're not bad at all. They're actually pretty damn good. I will admit that. It just sucks that like when the game gets buggy and the game acts up and shit, that's when the kind of problem came to me when the lag. I didn't like that. Oh, the so whole... your problem with the game when the game didn't work. Yeah. Which was 80% the problem, of the game. The problem, right, exactly. Which was crazy. But to me, like, it was it was it was that. It mm. was um the fact that it was lack of like drop, like I didn't start getting like a little frustrated about the drop until I got to a certain point of a level. Cause like when you think about like games like that, like Diablo and stuff like that, you mm-hmm. know you're gonna have to grind for it. You expect to grind for it. But when you get that, it's satisfying. When it came to Anthem, you never got that satisfaction. You got some, I was like, dude, I don't want this. It's like getting it's like playing with a monk and getting a, a, a barbarian item. Like wh- why would you give me that? Like why would you give me someone I don't even play with? Like that's that's what well, Anthem Then I'm glad you brought that up because it's yeah. something I really wanted to talk about. Is loot drop based games lazy development? I feel like we're, we're playing the same bosses, the same levels. How many times for our fingers crossed to hope we get that thing that we want? I feel like it depends. I feel like if it's a game like 
Diablo where it's it's based off it and mm-hmm. they kind of can just build off it like they had the adventure mode like that, then no, I don't think so. Because if you can increase to where you can keep growing, you can keep getting out, you get they're always doing updates mm-hmm. and it's just they're giving more to the community. Because for example, Diablo, I think that's a great one for example because it's at a point where it's up to PC. Back then, it was PC had everything. PC had all the yep. drops. PC had all the higher difficulties, all the special adventure mode and everything. And it was just Diablo 3 on the console. So once you played it, that play it back kind of just got, that was it. But when you start having that extra stuff, they added it to it. And they started having new updates. They had that, that Necromancer update with the character. Yeah, that, was, in that it too. was a big one. It was huge. It was freaking huge. Like, and it made a difference. I was like, those type of games are great because you feel like you get something from it. And it's something you can just... You know, it's, it's something that's casual. You know what I'm saying? You can always put it down and always go back to it. But I felt like something like Anthem, when you're just, it's it's literally just based off grinding like the whole entire time and they don't really add a whole lot to it. And it's like, like I said, buggy. Mm-hmm. You know, like when, when you, I, and I feel like it's lazy when you have a game based off loot and you don't deliver on the loot. Then I think it's lazy. And then games like Overwatch or even Apex now with like the two of the biggest titles that are hitting loot, it's, they're all based on cosmetic skins. But now here's my issue. I miss the days of gaming where if I look cool, my character looks dope, it's because I put hours of work into this character. That's why they look like this. Yeah. I want at least one game, whether it be Overwatch, Apex, something of that nature, where the coolest skins you can get is by playing that character and playing it often and well instead of crossing my fingers and hoping I can get that dope new skin or right, shelling out right. another $20 into a free-to-play game. Right, right. Which- Some, if any of them, any of them did anything like that, I guarantee you would smash everybody else because no one wants to give money into RNG anymore. We right. That's all we're doing. We're throwing money for to cross our fingers. For what? That is, that is true. Bring that back true. any sort of actual, like Diablo. Diablo did the same thing. Perfect example. Yes, it's a loot-based game. However, you don't get to use the cool stuff until you hit a certain level. Adventure mode, you can get the stuff for the character you're playing. That was great. It felt like every time I changed a new character, yes, it was the same game, but it was a whole new different play style. I was right. grinding for all new loot, exactly. and that's fine. Exactly. But games like Overwatch and Apex, where you're only playing to look cool, have me play that character to make that character look cool. Like I'm, I don't want to have my main look like he's fresh out of the box and have a character I've have zero hours on have glowing red light skins. Just Flames around his halo, and also he can dab on command. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because a lot of games, are, a lot of games are like that. It's, and it's crazy. I remember I was talking about that at one point. I, I feel like a lot of games have are doing that are more or microtransactions. It's been more jumping on that since like they've jumped to like you know the Xbox One mm-hmm. and PS4 from the PS3 and the 360. And I'd say like, I don't like it. I personally like it because I feel like it. They're we're losing the story. Mm-hmm. A, lot, a lot of games are like not story driven as they used to be. You know, like you have game, and it's interesting because I feel like it has been kind of a shift a little bit. I was talking about one of the other past episodes too, was that um like you had um NBA two K. They're starting to become a little bit more game driven. Yeah, th- that, that was a big one. And and same thing with NFL. Same thing with NHL. Same thing with UFC. It's actually those. I feel like those games are in a sense are a little bit better when it comes to story than the actual. A lot, some of the main games. Not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about freaking. Uh, you know, PS4 story game. No, those games are great. Like they, they put the oh, work in. Oh, you knew I was gonna hit with Spider Man God oh, of War in the next oh, 15 seconds. Bro, you saw I, in my eye. Bro, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm talking about like the games that are across games like Anthem, for example. Like <laughs> Destiny 2 for another one, for example. Like I heard Destiny 2 is finally getting good. Could they have the new drop? So I, I can't trust it, man. But the Destiny I don't know. has had too many chances to. Fix know, their game. But, but, Destiny One. They've had too many chances, right. and every they fix Destiny that comes out. Why do I have to spend another forty dollars for you to fix your game? And I sense. love Destiny, and I can't argue that I have spent hundreds of dollars on Destiny stuff from the pops, the Destiny Two Collector's Edition. I was really hard onto Destiny. Didn't play it as much by myself mm. at all. Didn't grind. I didn't even do certain raids. So did I really like Destiny? No. Obviously, I didn't because I didn't want to play the game by myself. So yeah, did I like it? Yeah. No. Yeah. But I spent how much money on it? Too much. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm I let it go. I, I'm done. I can't keep. And everyone's telling me the same thing. Yeah, Destiny is fixed. Well, then fix it and not and have me play it. Right. Don't charge me another forty dollars to fix your to play your fixed product. Right. 
And I, I feel you, and I, I, I agree all the way. Like, I think it's unfair to us people who, like, I, and I was talking to my other guy, the other guy on the show, I was saying, like, what I would like from the dude, I'd rather have them give us a base price and then just stick to it, to where it's not, like, because, like, back in the day, we have, I, I get it, everything is, you know, it takes more space now, but at the same time, you think about it, you condense it. We're, we're at a point where we're able to condense the space in data, so that being said, I don't see why they have to do so many updates where we have to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. the part I don't get. That's the part I kind of always keep going back to. And back to the whole thing about the whole story thing, I don't like games that just take the story out and have you kind of have to let it go and figure I feel like there's one thing to put extra nuggets in it mm-hmm. that make you go through and get all the little, all the little hidden secrets in the, in, the, in the game. I love that. But I don't like games like how Destiny did it, where and then Anthem is another example. How they just they have the game, you play the game, but you have to go read all this little side stuff and look everywhere to get it, like 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 Dark Souls. But I like, knew you were gonna bring that up, but a lot of people are gonna, a lot of people are gonna grab you on the throat on that one. And I love Dark Souls. The Dark Souls don't, is a don't get me wrong, very like, strong community. Don't, don't get me wrong, I love Dark Souls. I, I'm not, I'm not. The difference, difference between Dark Souls is that. They did it to where it's it's you you learning something. You, they did it to where like if you really were a fanatic, you kind of you kind of had to do the research mm-hmm. because they, they they built the game to where like okay you're this person in this world and you kind of have to figure out what's going on amongst while you're trying to survive. So if right. you want to go through and do the other extra stuff to get it, okay. But they didn't they didn't base the game off of like a, a they gave it a story. But they kind of left up you to figure out. But they weren't like, oh, this is an amazing story, great big world. They didn't do that like Death. They didn't do that like Anthem. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of just got put in there, and then they kind of just built it and say, hey, there's a, there's a, there's a lore behind it. But, you know, and I've, and I've watched Lord of the Rings off the ass. I'm, I've watched Lord of the Rings for years. For years. Like, I, there's a guy named um, Viti Vidya. I've been watching him for years. Like, like shout out to him on YouTube. I pre-want before I see it. But, you know, I've been, like, looking... But he's one of the many guys I've been watching the video, and I love the story. Like, trying to figure out where the timeline goes from the third, second, and the first game, you know, where it fits at. I love that shit. Like, you know, I know I went I went backwards, but... because no, I, I get it. I was just like, mm, if he did it that way, that but, way. But the thing is, like, they... like From what I was hearing, I heard uh, the first the first game was at, was not at the beginning of the timeline, supposedly. And then, and then it said it was... And that the third one was like after it, but the second was the very last game. What game was this exactly? Um, it's, it's supposed to be Dark Souls One, and then Dark Souls Three, and then oh, Dark okay. Souls Two. Yeah, no, I never followed be, that because I couldn't. Supposed, <laughs> supposedly, that's supposed to be the order, the order of the series, and it, and it makes sense how to explain it, mm-hmm. and how everything goes. Because like I'm talking about, I watch videos about just them explaining the DLCs mm-hmm. to them, like explaining the actual game itself, them going into detail of the character, the people you come across, why they're doing anything they're doing. Like I've I've looked into all this stuff. And it's like it's great when they talk about it, but Destiny, it's like, it's 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 a narrow general story, but it's, it doesn't give you a lot of information you unless can't, you go read it. Yeah, and even then, it's like there's still like holes in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watched a video, um, Matt Pack um, from uh, Game Theory, like he was talking mm-hmm. about um, how Destiny, how like the pe- the how the light is figuratively the bad guy, how like he shows up. He gives us all this technology, and everything goes to shit. And it talks about how, like, uh, the light was in a different area. It probably did the same thing for them. Like, the Fallen, for example. And it was uh, an episode where, I guess, a guy was killing one of the Fallen. And one of the Fallen, he mm-hmm. was just kind of, I think it was, are they called drag? The little Oh, the ones. aliens? The aliens, yeah. like, they're like, they're not like the the like the, the, the wolves, but, like, they're like the, the lesser ones, you know? Yeah. Yeah. One of them called one of the characters the darkness. It just said darkness, which is random because it's like they're supposed to be the light, you know. And he just goes in and explains it, and I'm like, damn, that's crazy. That would be crazy because when you think about it, it's like there is no dark without light, and there's no light without dark. Right. So now and, here's my question for you: like, if you're going mm-hmm. to look at it like that, here's here's something I have for you. Is it the traveler's fault for giving away the light, or is it the people who have the light and not knowing what they're supposed to do with it correctly? Because the same thing with us. What if some cosmic being came in and just handed everybody a superpower. I mean, I feel some like people are gonna use it for good, right? But the eighty percent are gonna do what? Destroy, take, steal. It, yeah. it's it's but, just it is how but it in, is. But in the story though, in the Destiny story, we took it, we expanded, we grew, we colonized different planets. But the darkness, the negative entities, whatever, came here after the light. Came not because of us, 
came here because of that law, that spirit that's above the, the city. The camp came here because of that, and that's why it showed up. And that's why everything started to go to crap. Was it because of us that did it? Was it because of something that they brought to us to do it? And it talked about like, what if like they were with you know the the wolves? What if they were actually with them? Like, it talks about they don't know who they are, they don't know their history, they don't remember anything. But they just they're just trying to survive, and they're mad. They just know they're pissed off. And they humans have, are in the way. Yeah, and and they just I I, I don't know. As, 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 I'll, what I'll do I'll see the video. I'll see, actually share it with you today so you can check it out. It's a really good video, really good. It's, but it it brings it back to full circle that but, the whole conversation we had. Where is Destiny's story? Exactly. No, it doesn't exactly. exist. Exactly. It just, so it's it it's exist. it's it's just the trying to put stuff in it and make sense. And it's just we don't. It's just kind of like if anything, it was a pretty cool, compelling way to how he explained it, but. Yeah. But he had to explain it. Exactly. That's the issue. And 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 but and the thing it was like the thing between this one it was it was a, it was a it was a theory. It's a theory. A game theory. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah man like freaking I love game theory by the way. But I just I don't know. But to me like I said I just feel like I agree with you. I think they should make a game to where they just don't do micro gens actually. I think that's the problem. So micro gens that that messes everything up because Mortal Kombat is game. Yeah, but we um, have to look at the other side too. Cause like I, I want to give my argument, but at the same time we have to look at it realistically. Mm-hmm. People got to get paid to do this. I get it. Like if designers and all that, everyone needs their money. I understand that. I can support that. Like I hate to say it a lot. I really hate to say it. Fortnite figured it out. They outsource to oh other artists God. and other designers oh, yeah. to send in their designs for skins. They charge like two or three bucks per and then they give the revenue to, to that designer. Yeah. That's smart. They that have smart. constant skins, constant smart. new ideas coming in that they don't really have to pay them for because they they get a piece of every skin that's bought. Right. So if you design the skin, you'll get a piece of the revenue every single time someone purchases it. That's well, fair. What I mean and it, by like, it's fresh too, because there's so many different skins now. Right. It's cool. I'll never play Fortnite. I am not a 14 year old kid. Like, granted, there's a 14 year old kid out there who does play Fortnite. That is multimillionaire. Bro, I'm all in my feelings before. Like, <laughs> you don't, you don't even know. Trust. Like, just to get this out the way, like, I'm, I'm a day one Fortnite. Okay. And I'm not talking about Battle Royale. Fuck a Battle Royale. Oh, you're okay? talking about Save Fuck. the Earth. I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking about that shit. I paid for that shit, all right? I paid for that shit. And they, they just, they, and I'm hurt because- Hear like, that, Epic? I he feel paid like, for that shit. I feel like they, they put more effort into Battle Royale, which is the free part of the game, but mm-hmm. they didn't put enough effort into the actual story. They started to, I admit that. They mm-hmm. started to put more. I feel like they're doing a little bit, little by more and more over time, but I feel like they're putting way more effort into the Battle Royale, which nobody fucking paid for, but it's here making, we are. It's making them money. It's free to pay. I'm just like, <laughs> that's how I feel about it. That's, that's how I feel about it, bro. That's like, I'm, I'm not the one that feels the way. There are other people, like, I, I have, like, I actually popped in Fortnite uh, a few nights ago. I played, like, one one level because I actually added, like, uh, no, I actually played it too. They actually added new stuff in it. Like, I actually added, like, new, like, missions to do besides the whole, you know, either go. Shoot zombies at encampments, or you mm-hmm. go build radar. It actually added more to that, so which is actually pretty cool. So, that, um, but at the same time, I'm not on it every day, and right? And I don't really have to be on it. Like, I was, I'll be real. Like when my lady got on that, cause she, me, and her playing that shit, we were on it like every goddamn day, bro. Like, I mean, like hardcore. Like I got her, I got her caught up from uh, the beginning, from Stonewood all the way to Kelly Valley. Is that is, it, is both, that a big jump? We both, I don't know if that's a big jump. So yeah, <laughs> there, there's four areas. There, there's there's Stonewood, um, Twine Peak. No, Twine Peak is the last one. There, there's Stonewood. I can't remember the second one. So I'm assuming what you're saying <laughs> is you got it from like chapter one to chapter four. Yeah. Right? So oh, we okay, so, okay. so we got to, we got to the last we got to, we got to, we got to Twine Peak. We're at Twine Peak now. Okay. But that's like the hardest location to go. It, it, it makes sense because like you had a lot to. Do and it's like they're hard. They're a lot harder to beat. It's like oh, I'm, I'm a level up higher now. I can do it. They be on some bullshit, bro. Like I'm telling you, like if you don't got a squad, or like if you're like it, it, it's to a point where when you get to Twine Peak, you either a have to be like Kirito from fucking Sword Art, where you can just solo <laughs> everything and kill shit, 
or you, you need to he had him. a hack, man. Like, you, like or, I'm saying, and you you need a squad. That's it. That's the only way you get through it. Because like, cause, and the thing, and even if you were to solo it, you have to have your defenders set up to a certain point they can help defend and help do work. If you don't, you're gonna lose every time. So basically, all I heard was, "Fuck Fortnite." Like at the end of all that, you just told me like the one cool thing that they did have for like <laughs> fight the world is also not done well. Well, I mean, it's 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 done well. It's you just, just told me that if you don't have a squad at the at the end game, because it's you're so screwed. It, it's so hard. It's it's so because it's because everything is so much difficult. Because at a certain point, because it's it's a gradual build, and it changed to where like you have to actually work your way to that point. Because at a certain point. There, even I got hit up by random people. Oh, do you know how to get the swine peak? You everybody get the swine peak? Because people were just trying to get there so they can loot everything and get all the, the important shit you would get from Twine Peak so they can make those high end weapons but not be there. So they changed to where you have to actually be that rank and actually work your way to that point to do it. So now you can so for the ones who actually work hard. So it's it's a warrant that you have to work for, but you just have to have a. It's just not easy to get there at a certain point because it's, it, is, it is a lot more difficult. Zombies are a lot more. I, to me, I think they're a lot more stronger. Honestly, like and usually, of course, it's level based. But even at the point where I'm at my level, I feel like they're still kind of tough and they're still a pain in the ass to kill. But you still get them. You just have. You just. You just can't. The best way to put it, it would be like this. The first area would be tricycles. The second one, you're getting you know comfortable. The third one, all right, it's time to start taking the motherfuckers off. Now nah, the fourth one, you're on a motorcycle. You, that, that's you. You gotta go. You fuck up, you're gonna die. That's it. it it's. It, I know. I know. Went from a bike to a motorcycle. I don't know how that transition happened, but it it did, and that's what that's what it is. Cause it's it's so difficult. It, it, Cause I mean, compared to Kenny, I can go into Kenny, especially my level, how my level is now. I can go. I can do it by myself. I can do missions in there by myself if I want to. But it's just more of like, it's yeah. Well, in a nutshell, Twine Peaks hard. Get a, get, a, get a team or be like Kirito. That's all I can tell you. That's, that's it. Or just don't play Fortnite. Yeah, or, or yeah, don't play Fortnite because <laughs> they don't know how to just put more work into the, they say the world. Just and not playing Fortnite. Too much I'm, I'm still hurt, but I don't like the fact. But I really feel like Fortnite had a thing. I would say, yeah, like you said, they they did their micro chances in perfect. They, that, I will admit they did that because you could, at the beginning, you kind of had to work for some of the stuff, but... As they started doing my updates, it kind of did become more and more and more micromanaged because at a certain point, you had to actually do certain missions to get those legendary characters. Now you can just buy them right. if it comes up, which kind of sucks. But when they had it to where you... And that's the thing. like You had to, like you said, you had, you had to put the work in to get those weapons, to get those to get those characters, to get those mythic characters, you know? All that. Like, I, I don't, man. I, I don't play Fortnite. And, well, well, I mean, like, well, that, that's the thing. Like, that's that's the thing about Fortnite. I was just saying, like, and say the world, like, you had to actually do all those things. That's what, but, and they, they did it to where you could buy stuff. Like, like that's how you, you buy, you know, your V Bucks, whatever, in, in the game. Mm -hmm. You can use that to get llamas to maybe get a drop if you so choose to, or you can just, when the drop, when the event comes up, you can work for it. And they can just get it from that. And I like that because, like you said, you, you like talk about the game. What, what, what's the game where you can do your work and you can show it? You know, and, and it was cool because like I had a character where she she was called um, Master Grenade Ramirez, and she was dope because she can like do it to where she would throw her grenades, her grenades would blow up into smaller grenades, and they would blow up, and you had an electric field around you. So as long as the zombies in that field, they would take damage from being in that field. And that was when you actually happened to work for that. This is Fortnite. This is Fortnite. This is legitimate Fortnite. They had like they had, they have mythic characters. They have legendary characters. They have, they have regular characters. And the, the cool thing about Fortnite was that they had it to where if you level them up, they do more stuff. You know, obviously they're more stronger. And same thing with your weapons. You got your weapons. You got certain guns you have. You level them up. You evolve them. Whatever it it the thing the thing about Fortnite Fortnite had it to where it it was. Are you defending Fortnite? I'm defending Save the World. You're defending Fortnite. I'm not defending better. Let's let's just get out the way. Let's there, comment there, section. There's 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 is this man defending Fortnite. There, there's Battle Royale, and then there's there's Fortnite. Okay. It just click. You're defending Fortnite. Or or better and then there's Save the World. Let's you're, just separate the room. You're quick. a tw you're a you pay bills. You're defending Fortnite. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm defending Save the World because I... I you I'm keep just, saying Save I'm the World. Let's say what it is. What are you defending? It's, I'm, I'm say saving it. Save the World. No, say I'm it. saving Save the World. I'm you're not defi saving You're Battle defending Fortnite. Fuck it, Battle Royale. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> we we talked about... Uh, if anything, Battle Royale could have a sack, a sack of baby digs. 
They can have that. We can just give it to them. We can just <laughs> and just hand it to them. Okay, we we no, we don't we don't. I don't mess with Battle Royale. I think I'm not gonna hate say it's a terrible idea. I thought it was a great idea because other games were implemented Apex. Uh, but then again, they got the idea from PUBG. To be real, they just it, implemented their like their play style with the whole idea with my, being their little mind because like, it was like it's like Minecraft mixed with like a, a really good third person shooting game. Everything can be tracked back to Minecraft though. That's been a proven fact. Any game that you play can be tracked back to Minecraft. Any game. Any game. Try me. I can get back to Minecraft. All right. All right. Guaranteed. All right. Guaranteed, I can get don't you back to my crap. Don't make me, don't make me do this. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me think of something. There's not a single something. game that exists that has think not come from Minecraft. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, easy. What did Minecraft come out the second, the second they had mods? Ooh, ooh, you can already fight each other. Mortal Kombat. Minecraft. Wait, so they have Minecraft shit in Mortal Kombat? No. Or you, are you saying there's Mortal Kombat stuff and Minecraft? Well, you could fight each other before you, in Minecraft, we could fight each other in Mortal Kombat, right? Well, I so mean, who's could, to say could you take wait, the fighting? Could you, could, so you so are you saying that you can you can like fight in two dimensions like like just like? Well, isn't that how the first Mortal Kombat game was? Yes, it was. So Minecraft. you so you can in Minecraft. If you if every fighting game go back to Minecraft because Minecraft you can fight people. Minecraft. Dude, that, that's the case. I don't know, man. Because Mortal Kombat has been out since the the nineties. You're right. The nineties. Mortal Kombat one, two, three. Mortal Kombat came out for Minecraft. Yeah. All hail Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like say they were Street Fighter. Street Fighter came out in like the eighties, eighties, nineties, and um, the the firm, I, I did a little research. The first Street Fighter came out in the eighties. It wasn't called Street Fighter. It was called a different game, but it was like it wasn't called Street Fighter One. Oh, Street I was Fighter. definitely not good at Street Fighter, except but, the big guy. I like to do the. <laughs> only time I, um, I, I need to tell him I can't. This is the Super Wrestler. I can't. Yeah, damn, I can't remember his name. Or uh, or Baraka. That's always a crowd favorite. Just, yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah, just shock the shot you. I loved, yeah, yeah. I would, I would, he did a little ball and, oh, fuck yeah. that ball. Fuck Classics. That. Like, real talk, when you think about it, like, Kano was, can do that shit. Y- yeah, New Mark Kombat, he turns into a no, flying no, ball. No, I'm like, no, he even, he did it in the original. Even in the original, he did that. So who did he steal that from? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, wait, who came up? Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? I'm like, hmm. I don't think uh, Blanca, Blanca wasn't in the original first one. Right, but to be fair, now we're saying what game decided to turn a person to a ball and throw them. That's all we're saying. <laughs> that's, 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 I don't know, man. Someone had that idea. That's all I'm saying. I had that idea first. <laughs> so but, all right. So, uh, all right. Let, let me let me think of a game that came out okay. this time. Okay. Like, okay. I think that was that was, that was, that was cheating a little bit. Cause, a little bit. You got me quick, too. Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, man. I feel like I crash. can't say Dragon Ball Z because I feel like, because they, they, real talk, they, Dragon Ball is, Dragon Ball Z games been out for a long time. They've had yeah. they've had games since Super Famicom. They've had games like on. I would even say maybe the game yeah Game Boy Advance at a certain point. I'm sure yeah. they have yeah, yeah they, some they, sort they, of side scroller. They've, they've had like side scroller. They've had they've had um they you know how like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. There's just been games like that for many years in Dragon Ball World. There's even sure. on the Super Famicom, even in arcades in Japan and all that stuff. They had it for years. Well, so same thing with Naruto too. Do, even do you know how many games that we Blue had Fire. to wait before we finally got them? And there's still some games in Japan that we don't even get to play. Yeah. Unless you yeah. emulate or are really smart with any of that, and I'm clearly not, so I don't got the time. <laughs> not a, I used to have the time. I have a yeah. Actually, just by the way, like if you ever wanted to get like a, a selection of games, I, I I'm I'm starting to try to get them slowly back. Mm-hmm. I used to have. Remember, I used to have every single Sega game. I lost all that. Ooh. I have every single Super Nintendo game still. I still have that. So if you want, and if you want that, I can give you a copy. So just let me know. I'm gonna throw that at you right there. I also have every single Neil Jill game too. Dream, you're my. All I have you know what? Then... You said save for the show. I got it right now for the show. <laughs> this has been an ongoing joke since Sam's Club. Oh, this ain't no joke. This is the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dream. Let me say it one time. Go ahead and say it. Nigga. <laughs> Clouded. But ain't no joke. That's the real deal, bro. All time. All day. Every day bro. Nah, but, but for real, man. Like, I'm trying to think of a game that, like, that would. All right, give, give me, throw a game at me that I wouldn't think of that, that kind of corresponds from, from uh, Minecraft. Uh, any game that I can think of. Star like, Wars Battlefront 2. Really? How? Really? How? Okay. 
Star Wars. Who owns Star Wars? Lucas Films. Where did George Lucas uh, work with? Steven Spielberg. On what movie? Indiana Jones. We come on back. Where do you first get the Indiana Jones hat? Minecraft. Mm. Mm. I mean, Indiana Jones has been out before. Yeah, I'm just saying you can connect them. Oh, you connect it. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, I, I see where you. Okay. Hello, my name is. I'm. I'm back. I'm here. All right. Okay. Cool. I, I was like, wait. I was like, I was like. So you're connecting the dots. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're you're bringing like you're like you're bringing like like a uh, like a third degree or something. What, what, what do they call it? You're yeah, asking some, the wrong person. Like I, like because I remember like even I, I wear degree even <laughs> even even uh <It's> great. <laughs> Even um, Matt Pack, he had an episode where he talked about like a bunch of different universes games coming together, like Sol- Solid Snake. And he was talking about it's one thing to have like dolls or pictures, but they actually have people physically in the game that kind of like brings a tie to that universe. Well, and is I feel like Snake you, is, is cheating that, now because like, ever since Smash Bros. Him? got their hand on him, he can pretty much go anywhere now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Like that, that was, that is true. It was but, a really easy connect Snake now. But like they've had like. Mega Man and like other games besides Mega Man, they've had a uh, same thing with Kirby. They've had I've, I've and I only know this because I've actually watched the video. He discussed, he explained it. It's, it's crazy shit. I was like, damn, you really could you know connect the dots like that. You know, to have some type of connection from that universe to that one. That's pretty cool. But you ever try doing it yourself? I thought about it. Messes with your head. I really thought about that, but I was like, dude, I was like, bro, like, just to be real. The first thing I've always thought about doing was the um the Zelda timeline. That's the first thing I ever thought about doing because it's so it's it's crazy. It's everywhere. It's nope. everywhere. I've I've heard <laughs> oh, I, I heard a lot of other people's perspective of the story. And it's like some of these don't make sense. Some of these do make sense. And it's like I've even kind of came to some conclusions some, some conclu- the conclusion with them on it. But that's one of the first ones I actually want, really wanted to do because I love Zelda. I've been watching like Zelda timelines for years, bro. Like I. I feel just like to, just kind of out there. I love I love watching Tom. I love watching like lore videos on on like on games that are interesting. I've loved Zelda for a really long time. Like I remember the very first Zelda game I've ever played was on the sixty four. That was uh, uh Oracle of Time. That was the first one I played, and the second one I no actually that was the second one. The first one I played was actually on the Game Boy. It was um Link's Awakening. That's the first one I played. That was I would say between it's hard because I would say between that one. And the Minish Cap are my two favorite handheld games of Zelda. So I don't know if we're going to be friends the next 15 seconds after the sentence. I've never finished a Zelda game. Understandable, bro. Not a single... It's it's a long game. It was something that it's long. It's just it didn't keep my attention. It got... Boring? Boring. It got boring. Understandable. It's not for everybody. However, I have watched... The entire playthrough of Skyward Sword, of man, what else? Uh, I played all of Hyrule Warriors. I know that doesn't count, but we, I played that one. Fuck, I like we, that one for 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 the fate for the fate for the fate or the, for what Matt Pat was saying. Like, honestly, for the lore's sake, I think we should include it because I feel like the way that game because I've I've watched the gameplay of it, mm. I've thought about it, and then like it was funny because Game Theory came on the video and talked about the new timeline because you know. You know, Zelda's like, oh, we're gonna change the timeline again. We're gonna fuck with it again. We're gonna find sway it again. We're gonna oh, mess I, it around. I've already dumbed it down to, yeah. a, to a very simple thing. So, what Zelda is? It's always Ganon's always gonna reincarnate. So is Zelda. So is Link. Yeah. The way they do it, it's completely up to them. Doesn't matter. But that's always what's gonna be. That's just the that's the final thing. Ganon right. touched the Triforce of Power, broke the Triforce. Period. Because he can't have the other two pieces. And now that he's well, all through these people are stuck in an infinite loop. Yes. That's the game. But. He can have all all three pieces. So what happens is that, like in, in in the store, how what happens is that if one person cannot handle all three, he gets one of them. And yeah. The other two just disperses, and it. Yeah. Other two people get got courage, and yeah. uh, so, Zelda got. So they got wisdom. The other so, wisdom. So, so, so what, the other one. So what has to happen <laughs> is that that person that went and got the one has to go find the other two. He has to they have to take the two from them, to get all the pieces. Because in one of the timelines, he gets all the pieces of the Triforce. Doesn't he only rule for like six years though? And then he Link ends up coming back into the timeline that he originally was, and then killing him anyway. So, 
restarting the cycle again. So 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 to get to get that so in the story, everything changed after Orca Your Time. That's supposedly when the whole bridge gap happened, when the three timelines happened, the multiverse happens pretty much. Because you have one where Link dies, and so there's no Link, <laughs> so everybody's fucked, so they got they had, they had to flood the city, you know? And no, they had the Silum in the um they had the Silum in the in the Sacred Realm. Which is crazy because like when you're in the sacred realm in Orca and Time, it looks nothing how it looks in the, in, the, in the games later on the timeline. Because like there's one where um, Link to the Past, and that one you go to the sacred realm. It looks it looks it's, it looks like a parallel world to the world that they're living in. It's parallel to to it. Everything is similar, but it's different. But it's where Ganon lives at. Get this big ass big ass fucking. You know how you oh, if you ever look up like um. Orca of, Orca of Time, where he changes his final form. Just imagine that big motherfucker walking around somewhere in that world, just by well, himself. Well, I know he has like a giant pig form, just called Ganon, and yeah. he's the only the Gerudo is is that the the race, right? Well, like he's, he's, he's the only male that's like born every hundred years. Yeah, something like that. So he's automatically made king. I don't think it's a hundred. I think it's more like it's more like he's the only male at a time. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is a hundred years. I, I don't play I, the game. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I watched but, Death Battle recently, and they talked about Ganondorf. So yeah. that's like. All the info I ever yeah, got on the dude, yeah. other than, than watching Trevor play they, Skyward Sword, okay. it, uh, I'd watch him play Link Between Worlds too, and I, <laughs> I sat close to him when he was on his DS playing the the paint one where yeah. you turn into a flat surface, whatever yeah. whichever one that was. Yeah. Same I, thing I, with I the Thirteen series, Final Fantasy Thirteen. Everyone craps on it, says it's really bad. It's the mm. worst one in the series. Really? I personally enjoyed all Thirteen looked, games. I never it, played them, but I thought the story was pretty good. It looked. It looked. <laughs> Like, well, I mean, tell me Final Fantasy story, all, all of them? No, that, I don't. It, are, you talking it, about, are you talking about Final Fantasy 13? The 13, 13, 2, and Lightning Returns. Just those three. Because everyone says that oh, universe is the worst. Really? But I liked it. Really? I thought it was. I, I actually, like, I actually watched videos and talked about that story, too. That, that what, what their situation they were going through, what ended up happening. I guess how it, how it ends i guess maybe it's like man kind of lame you know but i don't know i i, I, I that's what annoys me people want to say eh that this ending was lame that we i don't know there was a dude with one angel wing on his back who came out of a woman from a tube who told him psychically to destroy everything but that's a good story we're we're okay with that like we're completely okay <laughs> with the huge long katana but a story between sisters and sacrif- and self-sacrifice, that's boring. Yeah, man. But one winged yeah. angel, uh, freaking hot topic shopping looking dude with yeah. really unnecessarily yeah. long hair. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a cool that's, story. Oh yeah, man. All day. You didn't know you didn't know that? You didn't <laughs> Went over my head. I didn't pour, I, <laughs> I don't like cloud. So I, I banned from everyone one place. Talk, I, 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 I play Crisis no, Core first. No offense to like Cloud, like Cloud's cool, but he kind of come off like a, as a whiny little bit sometimes. No, he, full offense. But, Fuck you, Cloud. Damn, just, just straight from jump, just play the fuck. You should have died, <laughs> not Zach. <laughs> yeah, because like I found out, yeah, Zach. Zach was his mentor. He had the sword originally. Zach is only dead because he thought Cloud would make something of himself. Yeah, he didn't. He just made Sephiroth live forever. Thanks, Cloud. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. That's, that's yeah, that hurt, didn't it? That Realizing hurt, that that, that earth bad. glass yeah, shattering that reality that, that cloud just sucks. Yeah, but like a lot of the a lot of the um, <laughs> Final Fantasy games are, some of them have different stories. Some of them actually have tie-ins, though, which is interesting. Yeah. Like I've actually like I've thought about looking up the info, like the re- doing research on the old ones, like the ones for one, two, three, and four before it got the PlayStation. The kind of like oh, back when it was just called Warrior of Light, and no one even had names back then. It was just the Mage. Warrior of Light. It was that Mage. Mage, yeah. Or um, uh, Onion Knight. Mm-hmm. It was literally just a s- little kid, size of an onion. Ha ha. When you said Onion Knight, the first thing I thought about was was Dark Souls, because you run to the guy who looks like oh, Onion Knight. <laughs> that's like the first. That's the first thing I thought about. That's yeah, I gotta I give it to Dark Souls too because I, I forgot to bring this up earlier. They did a really good job of changing entire boss fights if you've yeah. done certain things in the world first. Yeah. Like, I didn't know the giant dog in one with the sword in his mouth didn't want to fight you if you did this whole side story mission first of when you help his master. That is depressingly sad, but also really cool. So if you go fight the dog, he just hates you, he wants you to kill you. But if you help him first, but he has to fight you anyway, he doesn't look very happy about it. You can tell. That's that's really good game design. Why don't we have that everywhere? That, that's clever. 
It's really, and, really and, good. And the cool part about it is that they didn't, they didn't, they didn't like bolster about it. No, they, they just they silently did it. Exactly. That, that's what I'm talking about. That's that's great game right there. That that's great. And the thing about it is, is like it, even like on that note, that's a, that's a looting game kind of too in a way. Because I mean, you kind of have to find better gear. But I mean, like, the gear once you get it, you're good. You yeah, and then, and you can put yourself into stats and make it even better on you. That's yeah. that's fine. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. I'm not good at Dark Souls. I'm not. Dark Souls Two is my favorite game. I got I got halfway done with Dark Souls One. I didn't finish it, and I haven't. I, only time I played Dark Souls Three was uh, when when Trevor let me play it. Bro, I was like, all right. Every time I got on sale, I should get this game. I don't get it. Like like sometimes I, I just forget to get it. Sometimes we've been financial reasons. Mm-hmm. But like next time, I'm probably gonna just buy my. I, I beat three. Yeah. Uh, I had help, <laughs> okay. but I beat three and Bloodborne. I beat pretty. Yeah, I beat Bloodborne completely by myself because yeah, it was it was Souls like, but it was so dark, demented, and yeah. twisted, and exactly yeah. up my alley. It, so I liked it a lot. It looked like more of like a Cthulhu type of thing. In a way, yeah, yeah. It, it was less about darkness of the land and more about the darkness in your own head, and, and that sold me. Okay, it really sold me. Okay, that that does sound pretty dope. You know what? Just before we we actually do in this, like I want to actually ask, like, like Go ahead, man. top. Top top five games that you that you that you mess with. Oh, well, top five. Game. Okay, um, Spyro is number one. Right behind that, close second is Ratchet and Clank. Only because Spyro came first. It was the first game I played. Okay. My mom used to get mad at me because I didn't have a memory card at the time. So I would try to keep my PlayStation on in the middle of the night, oh, so that way I can keep playing. Yeah. I thought I was clever one day. I was like, I'm put my uh, put like a shirt or something on top of the PlayStation. Does anyone remember how loud the PlayStation One fan was? It's like a jet engine. She knew the moment she walked into my room, my PlayStation was still on. She walked up, just I was so nasty, Nork. <laughs> you, just, you just have to accept that. Didn't have a memory card. Um, Ratchet and Clank, which is a personal favorite. I still have a T-shirt that was personally made for me for Ratchet and Clank. Um, just everything about that game is what we talked about earlier. You start from nothing. You slowly work your way up. As you get weapons, you can upgrade them. You don't have to buy anything. There's no microtransactions. Yeah. 100% of the game is there. And once you beat it, you have a new game plus. It's just a little harder, but you get secret weapons, secret unlocks you can't get normally. Give me that. Fine. Dark Souls. Perfect. Well, no, Dark Souls not anymore because they they, 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 they took notes. They gave DLC. That is that is, that is they, true. They they tripped that right is, on that over is, to take to making that, more money too. But but they added more. It, it's 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 for it's for a good cause. It, it, it was a whole it's another game. Like yeah. uh, Witcher Three, perfect example of DLC done right. CD Projekt Red gave us a massively large game. Yeah. And then charge thirty bucks for pretty much two more games. Yeah. Both of those DLCs were huge. Yeah, which is which is fair. Like I say, if, if a game wants to publish something and bring something more to the table, where it's more, it's it's, it's more of where like you get it out of it, not like oh I'm paying this money, I'm getting this little ass little thing. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. But if, I'm, if, you're, if you're getting like 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 you said, like. I fuck with Dark Souls because I, I like because like they've done their games outright. Yeah, and Dark the Souls game, too, perfect and, example. Their DLCs, like, whole new world. Yeah. Two or three. Yeah. And it's like, you, you don't have to pay DLC. You don't have to. That, that's just something you can if you yeah. want. And it's not like to where, like, you're missing out on anything. I mean, you're missing out on more of the story. If any, because there's more story to it. Because there's story about, all obviously, all the characters from each of the DLCs and stuff like that. Mm. But, yeah. All right, number three. Number three. Number three. Okay, so we got, got Spyro. We got Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank. Clank. Crash Team Racing. Okay. Uh, that was my first Mario Kart. You know, that was the game that the cousins came over to play all the time. That was a split-screen game, shoving each other, no screen peeking game. <laughs> that was it. Um, right after that, Star Wars Battlefront Two Xbox Edition. Okay. Original Xbox. Okay. All right, Do you I remember uh, the, the ship battles were amazing? You get into a phantom ship, you have to fly through all the BS, get into the enemy ship, hopefully find the yeah, reactor the core, cores. Yeah, the ship. Yes. Hours of fun yes. for no reason. Yes. I used to bring my whole Xbox over to the same cousin's house just so we would all play. My favorite one, out of all of them, I would say was was Battlefront Squadron. Uh, was it was it was it Elite Squadron? Was oh, it was the the command one where you played as a uh, the troopers and you can command them. No, Starship Command. No, no, it was like he he. It was I forgot the name of the game. It was something Squadron. But it was like you 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 did that you you did all those things where you kind of went you had to fight people but you can mm-hmm. play like certain characters too, but yeah you would take over like they they kind of did to where they went through eras, but in the story you were like a clone of a of a Jedi pretty much, you and your brother were clones of a Jedi. It's actually hilarious because that brings me to my number four, 
Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. I was handed a game that I can hold two lightsabers and shoot how much lightning out of my hands? I can throw an at at through the sky? Okay. Yeah, give me that. Give me every Star Wars fanboy fantasy I could ever think of all in one game. Force Thank only, you. Force, Force only. Was, 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 that, was that one was on Xbox 2? Yeah, that was the one where you played as, spoilers, you played as the clone of Darth Vader. Oh. And then you realize you're the clone of Darth Vader. Oh, And then you fight shit. Darth Vader. That's, that's what it was? Oh, it was a great shit. game. Great, great game. Loved it a lot. And then uh, to wrap it up, my final game that I always have a really dear close to my heart is uh, Crash Bandicoot. Okay. Hey, Three no buttons. Problem. Like, I, f- I fucks with it. That was a fun game. I remember I used to go to my friends off when I got a chance to and I played it. It was a great experience. It it's really always. Dope. Plus, I watched my friend Sinjin get so mad he almost threw a controller at the demo at GameStop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a man. He used to, it was just like this. He would game and just, mother. <laughs> and he'd go again. That's funny yeah. shit. That's funny shit. That was my manager. He was my boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you did work at GameStop, but. All right, y'all, that's all the time we have for today. Appreciate you guys coming through, showing us some love, checking this out. I know I've been, you know, I'll be honest, life can get in and on a hold of me. You know, I've been dealing with that and just trying to keep everything moving. So if anything, this will, episode will be after 19 because I haven't even posted 19 yet. I haven't even. I've just been, ah, oh, shit. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> so from the future. <laughs> so from the future, just just know that this is going to be on, and this is the homie Lino. And they trapped me on dreams. So I appreciate you showing up too, there. man. Like I, I really do, man. It's 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 really great to get people on the show and then like you to just have a good time, have some laughs. You know, that's yeah. just what it's about. This became the video game episode, like really it, fast. It really <laughs> we're, 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 like, I was gonna ask, like I was gonna ask some like some aqua marine science questions. Aqua marine science. <laughs> like, yeah, I was you, gonna you I was, ask me about color. Go ahead. I was gonna I, I was gonna this ask you about it. It is pink. I'm, yeah. I know a lot about colors. Yeah. Aquamarine, pink. Mm-hmm. But I was gonna ask, but we out of time, but. I guess to be continued then. Absolutely. But, if you haven't been. All right, y'all. Like I always say, stay smooth, stay true, stay cool. And like I always say, it's all a dream and we out.